Yo, what's up guys? Um, today I'm just making a tutorial on how you can extract and decompile the CSGO models from the CSGO game files. This is going to be a complete beginner's guide. So for some of you guys who are a bit more advanced, uh, this might be quite a slow tutorial. Um, feel free to skip through it, of course. So the tools you will need is going to be GCF Scape 7-Zip, Crowbar, Blender, Blender Source Tools, and CSGO. Just to go over what they're, what we're going to use these programs for. So we're going to use 7-Zip uh, to open up the compressed folders. So in this case, we'll need this to open up Crowbar. Um, we're then going to use GCF Scape to extract the models from the game files. Um, obviously we need CSGO to have the local files for the extraction of the models. We'll then use Crowbar to convert these files into readable files that Blender can open. We'll then use Blender Source Tools which is just an add-on that allows us to import uh, these files into Blender. So all the links to these software will be in the description below. Uh, I'm also going to leave, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm going to leave a written, some sort of like written document uh, of the steps as well. If you would like to follow that, you can do too. Okay, so let's just jump into this. The first step that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download all those files. Okay, so my crowbar is in my downloads folder. I've just downloaded it to show you guys how uh, you can open this with 7-zip. So it's very simple. We're just going to right click on it and we'll see you have this box. We'll go down to 7-zip and then you'll click open archive. And what this does is it's just going to open a compressed folder and then you can double click it to open up crowbar as you can see now it's all open i'm just going to close this quick but you guys should leave it open uh, something i do want to mention is once you've opened it like this you can just drag and drop it uh, like to the desktop for example and instead of unzipping it every time you can just open it from here Okay, so with crowbar open, we're just going to minimize it for now. This is the screen that you'll see when you first open it. Just leave it on this screen for now. Okay, so next we're going to open GFC Scape. So I have all my tools in a folder. So mine are here, CSGO editing tools. Um, obviously, if you have downloaded stuff and it's being compressed, you can just use 7-zip to uh, launch it like I have. If it's not, you just install it as normal. Um, and yeah, you'll get this folder here. Um, you have a README, so if you get any errors, check this out first. Um, I'd also recommend using the times 86 uh, just because if you're not sure which one to use, it's just better to use this. <coughs> you'll run into less errors. Okay, so on this screen, we're going to go to File and Open. Now, what you want, obviously, I've done this before, so it's automatically found my CSGO folder. You're going to want to come to this directory, so it's going to be in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter Strike, CSGO. Um, the chances are your CSGO is installed on program 86, I believe. Uh, if you're not sure where this is, what you can do is you can log into your Steam and find it through there, which I'll show you right now. Okay, so once you've logged into your Steam, you'll come to your library. You'll then find CSGO. You're going to right click on CSGO, go to properties. You'll then go to local files and browse local files. And what this does is gonna open up your CSGO folder. 
you'll then want to click on this CSGO folder in the shorthand. And this is the folder you're going to want to copy the directory for. So to copy, uh, to copy the directory, we're just going to click on this box here. As you can see, it's highlighted the whole directory. We're going to click Control C. You can right click and just click Copy. <clears throat> You're then going to go back to your escape. Come here, click on it, then do Control V or Paste, and it's going to copy and paste the directory into here. Now you're going to scroll down in GCF scape. You're going to find this file here. So you can tell the difference by the DIR, all the rest will have numbers. That's the one with DIR that you want. We're just going to click on it and we're going to click open. Now what this has done is just opened uh, that file and it's just uh, extracted all of the game data into here. So before we extract anything, you're going to want to make a folder. Um, make this folder easy to use. This is going to be somewhat of a temporary folder. I'm going to go to documents and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm just going to call it CSGO temp for temporary. Um, Models, animations, and textures. Okay, so once you've named your folder, we can go back to GF, GCF scape. We're going to right click on models and we're going to click extract. Now the, the folder you just created, you're going to want to select that folder and put it in there. So mine's going to be this PC documents, I think I called it CSGO and put it into CSGO tent models, animations, etc. I'm going to click OK. Uh, this should only take about five minutes, depends on your PC. So whilst this is downloading. Uh, what we can do is we can go to our documents and make a new folder. So I'm going to call this one uh, um, my CSGO uh, decompiled uh, textures, models, and animations. Okay, so we have now successfully extracted uh, the models from the game. We can now close down GCF scape and we will now go to crowbar. So like I said earlier, uh, all we need to do is make these files readable for Blender. So in crowbar, we're gonna go to decompile and now we have all these settings here. We're going to go to MDL input. This is where you're going to put the files that you've just extracted into. So unfortunately you can only do one at a time. So this will be quite a long process if you're doing a lot, um, but I'm just going to show you how to do one. So what you're going to want to do is we're going to click browse. We're then going to scroll down to your CSGO temp folder, open it up, go into models. Now you can do any of the models that you want. Um, I'm going to do characters, like the player models. So I believe it's in player. I believe these are the old models. So these will be the ones that were from before 2016 I believe so if you're interested in these models you can get them however I'm gonna go to custom player and then legacy these are the newer models uh, the ones after 2016 or so so I'm just going to 
click on FBI and that's the CT character model that I want. Um, so there are two options that we're going to do. So we're going to use the default settings, which will be all of these. And we'll do decompile. Then we're going to do a second one, which will be with QC not ticked. And then we'll just do a decompile. Now, if you're interested in only having the models, and you're not interested in any of the animations of the bones, you can mess around with these settings um, by turning them off and on. However, I haven't messed around with this myself. Um, <clears throat> so if you guys want to change these settings, you can do, but if you get any errors or anything, I probably won't be able to help you. But if you do want to get rid of bones and stuff, of course, I'll just get rid of stuff like the bone lines here. You got bones, you got the animations, etc, etc. Um, but you obviously, you will still get the models and everything with my way. You'll just have extra stuff that you might not need. And of course, you could just delete them as well if you wanted to after you've decompiled. Before we decompile, we're going to go to the output. Uh, this is where your decompiled models are going to be placed after they've been decompiled. So if you go to browse and just select the folder that we made um, as we were extracting the models. So for me, this will be my CSGO decompiled textures and models. Click open and click open again. Once you've done that, we're going to click decompile. As you can see down here, decompiling has finished and it didn't even take a second, which is great. Next, you're going to untick QC file and we'll do decompile again. Again, decompiling finished. And as you can see, it's made an SMD file and the other one made a QC file. Okay. We can now close down crowbar. If you do want to do some more models, then you just need to repeat this process over and over and over again. Obviously select your new model through the method I just showed you. Okay. So we have converted everything. Uh, so that it's readable in Blender. Next, we just need to install the Blender add-on so that Blender can read these files. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to come to File and I'm just going to put mine in Documents. I'm going to create a new folder and you're just going to name it something like Blender add-ons. If you already have a Blender add-ons folder, then don't worry about this step. You're just going to want to go to that folder and you're going to drag and drop your compressed um, folder that I've put in the description. And you're just going to put it in here. You do not need to uh, open this up or decompress it or anything. Just drag it and drop it and that will be completely fine. Keep this folder open because we need the directory for this. Next, we're going to open up Blender and install the add-on. Just click anywhere on the screen to remove that. We're then going to come up here to the left, click on edit, go to preferences, and we're gonna click on install. You can then copy and paste your directory into here, or you can just find it through the tool. So I know where mine are, as you can see, we've got Blender add-ons. And then you're going to select your Blender source tool and click install add-on. So once you have done that, I'm not going to install mine because I have mine already. You'll then open up your Blender preferences again you can search for Blender Source Tools 
and just make sure that it's ticked. If it's not ticked, it means it hasn't been turned on. If it hasn't appeared, make sure you have official and community on just to make sure. As you can see, it doesn't appear in official, but it does appear in community. So you can just use community if you want to, but I just have all of them ticked usually just to make sure uh, that it can be found. If you want to highlight all of these, just hold down shift, left click, and that will select all of them. But if you just do normal select, it will just flip flop. Okay. After that, we're going to restart Blender. Okay, so once you've opened up Blender, we're gonna come over here, select everything in the scene collection. And we're just gonna hit delete on our keyboard just to delete everything here. Okay, so we're now we're just going to import our models. So we're gonna to go to file, we'll click import. Now on the import section, you should see source engine or SMD VTA DMX QC. If it is not there, something has gone wrong with your installation of the, the source tool. So make sure you've done all those steps. Uh, if you have any problems, just let me know and I'll try and help you. So we're going to click on that and now we're going to go to our models folder so this will be the my models and these will be the decompiled ones that we have converted with crowbar we're going to open that up as you can see i've got animations here we have the qc that we've done and we have the smd so this is everything that i want what we're going to do is we're going to click on the smd file and make sure it's not the physics or the gloves just yet we're going to remove, uh, untick import animations because I don't want any animations. And we're also going to untick create collections. All these settings can be left the same. And now we're just going to click on import SMD. Now, as you can see here, our character is loaded in. You can zoom out by using the scroll wheel coming towards you and you can hold down the scroll wheel to rotate your view okay so that's the model in now i don't know if you can see but he has no gloves so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to file import source engine smd we're going to click on the gloves keeping the same uh, import settings as we did before and we're going to click import now as you can see the gloves are now there it might be a bit hard to see because of the skeleton but if we delete the skeleton real quick you have your model here uh, after this you can save your project if you wanted to so you don't have to import them again or if you want to you can obviously export them into any sort of file format that you desire. Um, so that is it for the tutorial. If you run into any errors or problems, you could leave it in the comments down below. Uh, I also have a Discord, which I'm going to leave linked. So in the Discord, we have uh, some resources that you can guys use. I also have all the tutorials and stuff linked in there. Uh, feel free to join. It's very, it's very empty in there. Uh, but obviously the more members we can get, the more we can help each other out and learn. Um, yeah, just using Blender and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so thank you for watching and see you later.